In the Move Blade Runner, we have extensive use of this effect, the caustics effect. But do you believe me if I say that I can do this effect for you in less than 10 seconds? Come with me. I can just come here to my Gobos Lightning library, drag and drop a caustic light, put it up, and voila. We have the caustics effect being projected on our scene just like the movie. Hello guys, Augusto here, and in today's video I will present you with the Gobos Lightning Library Pack. This library comes with a lot of custom lightnings that comes with shadows inside of it, allowing us to create really interesting effects with just one light. So as you can see here, I could recreate the effect from the move Blade Runner with a simple drag and drop of a light in my scene, as you can see. It will come like this, for example, this abstract thing, for example. So as you can see, I can just drag a light and it will come with some shadows and things working for us. I discovered that you can increase the size of the spotlight, something like this, and reduce the blend mode to make the light spread even more. And now we have this type of effect, this ambience effect. This is extremely good for storytelling, because as you can see now, we have a feeling about where this place is located. For example, last time we used the Cossacks effect, creating the idea that we were inside of uh, water stuff or something like that. But we can select something like animated leaves, which will works for animations, and add that to our scene, increasing the spot size, decreasing the blend, and increasing the strength. So now we are inside of a forest without using any extra geometry. This is extremely good for storytelling and for optimization. And this is animated. So if we click play, you will be able to see the simple effect of the wind blowing up some of those leaves, which is amazing for handling with cycles. The only downside of this is that this does not work with Eevee, because Eevee does not support nodes in their system, at least for now. But in the future, when Eevee support nodes for the lights, so it will totally work with Cycles and Eve at the same time. So, if you'd like to know more about this asset pack, the link is in the description below. You can click and check it out. And also, click this video that's appearing on your screen right now to know a little bit more about how to use Blender for architectural visualization. See you there!